Adrian? Yep. What are you going to get with the times? Go full frame over that tiny little sensor of yours? <laughs> you full frame glasses are all the same. Do you really think it'll make any difference? No, that's a good question. I mean, we are both shooting 1920 by 1080. Yeah, we are. And we're both putting out that horrible H.264 codec. <laughs> we are indeed. Yeah, so. Okay, well, what do you say? A little bit of challenge. Uh, full frame versus... Tiny. <laughs> APSC, I think, is the word you're looking for. Or whatever you want to call it. <laughs> okay, yeah, we can uh, do a side by side comparison and see if there is much of a difference. Because there's a big difference in price between your APSC mm -hmm. and your full frame. So, yep. what kind of. How are we going to do a comparison? Okay, uh, let's go 50mm lens, same lens on both cameras. Love it. Fair enough. Yeah. Same settings, uh, ISO, all that kind of stuff. Perfect. Okay, let's test uh, low light. That, yeah, that could be very interesting, actually, yeah. yeah. Okay. Let's test uh, frame, because we know that's going to be different. Oh, like the focal length. Mm -hmm. So, from focal to 50 on, mine's going to be looking more like an 80. Yep. That'll be interesting, definitely. Yep. Yeah. And uh, uh, image quality. Yeah, image quality. If we can light something in the, in the white box here and kind of do exactly the same shot with each camera, blow them up in uh, Premiere and see, uh, actually, do you get a better quality image? That's a good question. This could be really fascinating. All right, let's find out. It saves a lot of money if we find out this is good. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> or it means I lost a lot of money. Or else it means I need to upgrade. <laughs> okay, right, yeah, let's, let's do it. Up. Okay, so this part of the test is all about resolution. So this is the 5D Mark II. All right, now that we've had a nice close-up look at the resolution on Adrian's face, take a close look up at the resolution on mine. This is the 7D. Okay, now we're looking at the high ISO settings. We've got the camera set to 3200 ISO. We're on the 7D right now. All the other settings are gonna be the same. We're gonna switch over to the 5D here in just a moment. Okay, so now we're on the 5D Mark II. Um, everything is the same except for that ISO. It's up to 3200. So you would kind of expect the 5D Mark II to handle noise better. Okay, so this is the field of view test, the final test we're going to do. And this is Milo's 5D Mark II with a 50mm lens on. I am 10 feet away from the camera, and this is the field of view you get. You can see the lights in the background. It's a pretty wide field of view. People always say that the 50mm is kind of like what the human eye sees. So when we change to a 50mm on the 70, there's going to be a big change of focal length. Okay, I'm the exact same distance from the camera as Adrian was, so no changes there. The only change is the camera itself. We went to the, from the 5D to the 7D, and you can see that 50mm lens on his camera pretty much turns it into an 80mm. On this side of me, you can't see the light at all anymore. On this side of me, you're just catching the edge of it. We knew this was going to be the biggest difference between the two cameras, but now it'll be interesting to see as we sit down in front of the computer how everything else stacks up. Okay, challenge over. Yeah, um, first one. Resolution. resolution. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm still shocked. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it was basically the same between the two cameras. Zooming, zooming, zooming way in. They got both crappy enough to where you wouldn't use yeah, it anyway, yeah. so it doesn't really matter. But the same lighting, same lens, you really honestly couldn't tell the difference no. between the, the, the smaller sensor and the larger sensor. And I expect it kind of to be trans to Yeah, that. I think we both did. Yeah. Uh, next one, low light. Low light, again, I thought bigger sensor, more light falling on it. This is going to be dramatically bad for the 7D. Absolutely, and once again, it wasn't. Mm -hmm. um, really, no difference. Yeah, yeah. I think it's a, it, you, know, you never get the opportunity to do this, mm -hmm. to put the same lens on two cameras in the same settings, the same light, and actually compare like for like. And yeah. that really blew me away. Yeah. And the resolution shocked me. And the, the noise thing, I was just like, no way. Like, we're in a kind of 500% in Premiere and just couldn't tell the difference. No. And the last one, we knew there was going to be a difference yeah. here, but it, it makes more sense when you look at it this way. I just, I, you know, I, I've always known it, but I hadn't, it's the one part of the test I hadn't really thought about. Yeah. And I thought that was kind of fascinating how when we changed to your camera, mm -hmm. you know, the world was there. You yeah. know, we put on that 50mm on the 7D, it's an 80mm, and it's a portrait lens, and it's tight. Yeah, absolutely. For filmmaking, which is what we're looking at, yeah. you get so much more space in there. If you're shooting in a smaller space, it gives you more to work with. You don't have to back up as much yeah. through a wall or anything like that. So, amazing difference for, for a filmmaker. Yeah, absolutely, mm -hmm. absolutely. There is, I know there is a lot of 
lenses are being made wider now with the APS-C yeah. in mind. You know, mm -hmm. Sigma's got a 10 to 20, which is crazy wide. And Canon have released some, yeah. some wider. But yeah, definitely the field of view is just something that is inherently um, different between the two. Oh yeah, all right. Well, uh, I found that useful. And I found that very interesting, yeah. Okay, and hopefully uh, our audience finds that useful. Okay, see you next time for mm -hmm. more pens and tips. That was good. Yeah, yeah. Uh...